Hello. This video will cover the TLR or ATLR, TLR address, consumer loans, financial services, loan purchase, target market check, and certification application launch. Reference materials can be found within the video's description. TLR versus ATLR. In December 2023, the CDFI Fund released the abbreviated TLR in conjunction with the revised certification application. New CDFI certification applicants without an assistance agreement for an existing CDFI program award, Native American CDFI assistance program award, CDFI equitable recovery program award, and or CDFI rapid response program award will complete and submit the abbreviated version of the TLR prior to submission of their CDFI certification application. This abbreviated TLR will be used to assess applicable target market tar percentage benchmarks and the applicant's proposed target market or target markets. Applicants must report on origination activity for their most recently completed fiscal year prior to the submission of their application. For organizations who have an active assistance agreement for a CDFI or CDFI NACA award, CDFI ERP award, and or CDFI RRP award with a TLR re requirement regardless of certification status, a full-length TLR must be submitted in accordance with their award reporting schedule unless directed otherwise by the CDFI fund. Simply put, the full-length TLR has additional variables required to describe impact and compliance with select award programs. The full-length TLR will be used to assess target market benchmarks as part of the certification application process. How to upload manual versus bulk submission there are two ways in which an organization can add transactions to the TLR, manual submission and bulk submission. For organizations with many entries for their data, Amos allows for bulk submission via CSV or XML XSD file. For the TLR, ATLR, TLR address, CLR, and financial services objects. Organizations can also enter their data in manually via the web interface in Amos. If you made a more if you made more of a large number of loans in a reporting year or prefer using Excel, we would recommend entering your data via bulk submission. Manual Submission TLR and TLR Address To manually submit TLR or ATLR data loan by loan, go to the More dropdown in the top banner and select CDFI TLR. On the next page, click on New. From here, Select abbreviated CDFI TLR or full length TLR as a record type input and then select your organization name and hit next. Fill out all required fields for the transaction and hit either save to return to the previous page or save and new to start a new entry. If there are any issues with data validation, you will get error for no notifications in the top section of this web page. To add address data for your entry, click on the TLRP record link in the left-hand side of the screen. On this screen, on the right-hand side, you will see a down arrow. Click on the down arrow and you will see an option to add address. Click on add address and fill out the form. Even if you are doing a manual submission, you may need to use our SIMS mapping tool or a bulk geocoding template as described earlier to obtain FIPS codes for loans to individuals. On this page, if you are filling out loan information for loans to individuals, only fill out the project FIPS code and census vintage year. If you have a loan to a business, you can either fill out the project longitude and latitude, or you can fill out the project street line, city, state, and zip. CLR data. To manually submit consumer loan data, go to the more dropdown in the top banner and select Consumer Loans and Investments. Please note that reporting consumer loans and the consumer loans object is only required for regulated entities, and they are aggregated to the FIPS code. They contain different target market group aggregations at the, at the census tract level. Click on New on this page and fill out the pop-up window. Please bear in mind that the OTP amount and OTP number fields are aggregates of the OTP breakout fields below. Said differently, OTP amount number here will be the sum of the OTP amount Native American, OTP 
uh, number or OTP amount Native Alaskan, OTP amount Native American, Na African American, and so on and so forth. Financial services. If you are a regulated entity who needs to report financial services activity in order to meet the required target market activity thresholds to become a certified CDFI or to retain your certification, the manual entry for the financial services TLR can be found to navigating to your organization's page by clicking it in the top banner and then by selecting your organization. In the cluster of buttons on the top right, click the down arrow and select new financial service. Fill out the required information and click Save. Please note that this form is looking for unique depository account holders. If one person has multiple accounts across multiple products, only enter them in once. Loan Purchases. Navigate to your organization's page by clicking it in the top banner and then select your organization. In the cluster of buttons in the top right, click the down arrow and then select New CDFI Loan Purchase. Fill out the information on both pages and click Save. Please note that the selection for was this loan or loan bundle purchased from a cert certified CDFI will determine the questions on the next page. At the time of this webinar, we do not have a bulk upload option for loan purchases. Please reach out via service request if this poses a problem for your organization. Bulk Submission Location. Bulk Submission is under the TLR Import Export Certify page. To navigate to this page, click on the More dropdown in the dark blue banner. From here, select your organization and hit Next. To begin adding your TLR data versus via bulk submission, you need to first download the file templates. Templates can be found under the TLR Data Export Template header. Regulated entities meaning banks and credit unions, who have consumer loans must report their consumer loans aggregated to the FIPS code and purpose on the consumer loan object. This is the new Consumer Loans Investments Originated August 2020.csv template. Loan funds and VC funds will report their consumer loans on their TLR or ATLR. Currently, the Consumer Loan Form does not dif differentiate between the abbreviated TLR and the full-length TLR. Regulated entities may use the same template regardless of their award status. For organizations looking to submit their full-length TLR in connection with an award, use the new CDFI TLR Project August 2020.csv link. Organizations without active RRP, ERP, FA assistance agreements should use the new abbreviated TLR.csv link. Please note that both the full-length TLR and abbreviated TLR may be used as part of applying for certification but the decision rule for which template or form to launch is based on whether or not you have an active RRP, ERP, or FA assistance agreement with the TLR reporting requirement. For regulated entities who do not pass the 60% threshold for account in dollars, they can use their unique eligible account holders percentages for financial services. This is the new financialservice.csv link. It's important to note that all entries in the TLR or ATLR must have corresponding entries in the TLR address file. This is the new CDFI TLR address August 2020.csv file. For loans with the individual invest investee borrower type, only fill out the originator transaction ID, census vintage year, and FIPS code. For loans with the business investee borrower type, fill out all columns besides FIPS codes with project address line 2 and zip code plus 4 being optional. You do not need to fill out the latitude and longitude if you are filling out street data and vice versa. When completing your address data template, please use to make sure that, that you are using the same originator transaction, originator transaction ID as in your TLR data file. We use that ID to link records back together on the back end. Finally, you may have noticed another file called new geocoding address.csv. Not all CDFIs will need to use this template, but many will. The geocoding file is used as an interim step before completing your address template. It is used to generate a FIPS code for transactions where we collect FIPS code instead of address or XY coordinates. If your organization makes loans where the investee type is individual, i.e. consumer loans and mortgages, 
you can use this template to input addresses or XY coordinates in order to generate the FIPS code that you will need for select loans to populate your address template. For those of you concerned about privacy, Amos does not retain the address information. Upload. Uploads take place under a section on the page called TLR Data Import Links, CSV. All the CSV import links are within this section are intuitively named to easily discern the file that is being uploaded. If you upload the wrong template or file type to an upload link, you will receive a wrong template error. Order is important in the upload process. Please upload your completed templates in the following order. If applicable, use the geocoding upload link titled Import New Geocoding Address Data to obtain FIPS codes for consumer loans, mortgage loans, and other loans where the investee type is equal to IND or individual. You will need to use those FIPS codes to complete your consumer loan upload for regulated entities only or your TLR address upload for TLR transactions. Then, import your abbreviated TLR or full-length TLR completed template if you have TLR transactions. Then, import your completed address template. The financial services template, if applicable, can be uploaded at any time and does not follow a specific order. Please note that there are additional steps regarding how to run the target market calculator, how to certify your TLR data that will be explained later within the presentation. We will now walk through how to use the links and upload the data. To upload a new abbreviated TLR, click on the new abbreviated TLR link, and then we will go and find our file and drag it over to the add files button. Additionally, you can click on the add files button and find it manually. Click on start to start the upload process. Once the data has been uploaded, a validation will take place within Amos. If there are any validation errors that occur, you can change the values within the Amos application. For instance, on this loan purpose, we received a bad value for a restricted pick list. It was expecting certain values, but we passed a bad value and we can change it by referencing our template and changing it to an allowed value and then hitting update. From that point, we can hit submit and our data will be written to Amos. Once our TLR data has been uploaded, we go ahead and upload the TLR address data by clicking on the import new CDFI TLR address link. From here, we follow a similar step where we add our file using the add files feature and then start the upload. If there are any errors within the file, we can correct them here or go back to the Excel file and correct them there. Running a target market check. Before the certification application can be launched, a target market check must be run. What the target market check is doing is looking at both certified and uncertified TLR and ATLR records, CLR records, financial services records, and loan purchase transactions if applicable. The threshold for pass is greater than 60% directed to target markets for both counts and amounts unless the organization is a regulated entity and has added financial services unique account holders. To run a target market check, click on the More link in the top banner. Click TLR Import Export Certify. Select your organization and click Next. In the top section called Organization, the last op option will have a button called Calculate Target Market Data. To the right of this button will be a blank text box. Enter in the fiscal year with all four digits to the, calculate the fiscal year that the target market check will run on, and then click on the Calculate Target Market Data button. You'll see a pop-up window with a spinner letting you know the status. When this has completed, you will see your results. To launch the certification application, you will need to pass all thresholds besides the designated native area threshold, which will show failed by default. Once this is run, close the window to return to the previous screen. Launching the application. To launch the certification application, click on the organizations page within the top banner. Then click the organization for which you are seeking to apply. Once in your organizations page, go to the related tab, then scroll to program profiles. 
Within the Program Profiles area, you will see an option for CDFI CERT with a Program Profile link in the column to the right. Click on the Program Profile link, link that starts with P hyphen in the row for CDFI CERT. Once in the Program Profile page, click on the down arrow to the right of the screen, which will bring up a, men a menu option with the only option being Apply for CDFI Certification. Clicking this will launch the application. Three th points of note here. If you did not run a target market check, you cannot launch the certification application. If you wish to resume an input person or in-process application, navigate to the Related tab within the Program Profile link and click on the application link. Although upon submission, the target market calculator will indicate whether the organization is meeting the 60% requirement and number and dollar. There will be a review of the data and a review of the accountability requirement, and the percentage could change. A change could also cause the entity to not meet the target market requirement and lead to a negative CDFI certification application determination. Certifying your data. Whether you are completing your TLR as part of your FA, RRP, or ERP reporting requirements, or as part of your certification application, or both, you will need to certify your TLR data for it to be considered final. To certify your TLR data, navigate to the TLR Import Export Certify page in Amos and click on Certify CDFI TLR. This button will certify data across all TLR records. This includes consumer loans, loan purchases, financial services, and TLR loans submitted via bulk or manual process. Please note that regulated entities that have only consumer loans or only TLR loans to report, but not both, will need to submit a service request asking for assistance to certify their data. If you are submitting TLR data as part of your award requirements, you should be able to see your TLR element in your reporting schedule update to show the TLR as submitted once the TLR data has been certified. While you may launch your certification application with not certified TLR data, you will need to certify your, your TLR data before the submission of your certification application. Once your TLR data is certified, you will not be able to make changes to your data on your own without initiating a service request. Concluding. If at any point you run into issues or you seek further assistance, please submit an AMOS service request or email ocpecert at cdfi.treas.gov or email cdfi-financialstrategiesandresearch at cdfi.treas.gov. Thank you, and I hope you have a wonderful day.